Welcome to this tutorial on using the advanced search to find resources in theology. In this video, I will go over the following aspects of using the advanced search feature. Searchable fields, Library of Congress subject headings, Boolean operators, wild cards, and truncation, and search limiters or facets. On the advanced search screen, you can search most of the fields that you find in the record for a resource. If you leave the drop-down menu set to the default Any Field setting, it will search the entire record for the term you specify. This approach can be helpful if you are doing more exploratory searches to learn how to later narrow your search. By searching fields like titles, table of contents, and subject headings all at once, you are likely to retrieve a broader set of results that may help you learn key terms for your topic to further refine your search. When you want to narrow your search or retrieve an item you already have in mind, it can be helpful to limit your query to particular fields. The most commonly used fields, title, subject, and author, appear at the top of the drop-down menu for easy use. Note that in addition to these fields, the series title can also be another useful field for locating books in theology, like Bible commentaries, for example. To discover titles that are relevant to your research, the subject field can be of great help. When books are cataloged in the library's database, they are assigned subject headings to help with searching. These subject headings have been developed by the Library of Congress to standardize and facilitate research across the country. Sometimes, though, the headings are not intuitive for Catholic theology, and so knowing how to look them up can help ensure you get the best search results. To look up a subject heading, Go to the Library of Congress Authorities website, located at authorities.loc.gov. From there, click on the Search Authorities link, and then leave the Search Type drop-down menu set to the default setting, which is for Subject Authority Headings. Then, type in the term for the subject area you are researching into the search box and hit Enter. You will retrieve a list of headings. Those that have a button next to them labeled Authorized Heading are the actual subject headings you can search in the library's database or catalog. If there is a red button labeled References next to the term you entered, click on that button to find out what the authorized heading is for your search concept. You will be taken to a screen that directs you to the authorized subject heading. In this example, you see that the subject heading that is used for the search concept, Christology, is Jesus Christ, Person, and Offices. This authorized heading is then what you would enter into the Advanced Search subject field to retrieve items on Christology. As you can see with the Christology, Jesus Christ, Person, and Offices example, subject headings are not always intuitive. There are also other examples of this issue. If you are searching for Eucharist, the Library of Congress subject heading you will need to use is Lord's Supper. Again, the takeaway here is, if you run into a problem searching by subject and do not get the number of search results you expected, try looking the heading up in the Library of Congress Authorities page. It can make a difference. Boolean operators, wildcard and truncation characters are also useful tools you can use when using the advanced search. Boolean operators appear in a drop-down menu and consist of three terms, AND, OR, and NOT. They are used to define how multiple terms will be used together in a search. The AND operator is used to narrow a search. When you select it to join two terms, it looks for the set of records on which both terms are found. The OR operator is used to broaden a search. When you select it to join two terms, it looks for the set of records on which either term is found. It is best to use when you are trying to search for synonym terms or equivalent search concepts. The NOT operator narrows a search by excluding terms from your results. When you select it to join two terms, it excludes the set of records that contain the second term you specify. Wildcard and truncation characters can help you broaden your search results by enabling you to search for different spellings or declensions of a word without having to enter each variation. The question mark can be used to substitute for one character to perform a wildcard search, 
and the asterisk can be used to substitute for multiple characters. Please also note that when you want to search more than one term as a phrase, it's best to enclose the words in double quotation marks. Finally, you can further narrow your search results once you have entered your search criteria by using search limiters or facets that are available on the right hand side of the search results screen. You can limit your search by whether the item is available in print or online, by the BC library that holds the print copy, by the type of resource it is, by subject matter, by author, by publication date, by the name of its collection if it is in one, by language, and by genre. If you select a limiter by checking the box next to it, it will limit your search to records that contain that heading or data. Much like the Boolean NOT operator, you may also exclude records from a search by selecting the red X'd out checkbox that appears when you hover to the right of the facet. One last tip. When searching for items in the Theology and Ministry Libraries collection, it can be helpful to limit by publication date range, particularly if you're seeking the most recent scholarship on a topic. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact the staff at the Theology and Ministry Library.